The problem is um, that an offer of help is now branded as harassment. Mere presence is, is branded as intimidation. Prayer is protest. So words, the meaning of words ha have been actually changed um, mm. to suit mm. this, um, mm. which is really concerning. And, and I kind of find the sad thing is there's, a, there's quite a lot of people who say they agree with buffer zones, um, but in actual fact, they do support our position. And it's, be, it's because what we're doing has been so misrepresented in the media. Yeah. You know, we too want harassment to be eliminated outside abortion centres. You know, the fact is, it's not happening there. Um, we too agree that, that women going to have an abortion shouldn't be intimidated. Of course, they shouldn't be, you know, called murderers and, and you know, chased down the street and have their, their entrance to the abortion centre blocked. I mean, it's just the idea of that happening. It, it, it's just ridiculous. Um, of course, we agree that that should not be allowed. Um, and in fact, mm. everybody mm. who joins our campaign has to sign what's called a statement of peace, mm. saying they agree to behave lovingly, um, peacefully, to obey the law, they're not allowed to use words like murder or murderer. Um, you know, things that we would think of, this is an absolute given that, of course, you don't become part of our campaign unless you're mm. willing to agree to all these things. And other 40 days mm. campaigns would behave in, in exactly the same way, having these same rules. Um, so, yeah. so we are already making sure that none of that is part of our campaign. So in a way, as Michael said earlier, if people are worried about harassment and intimidation, that's already illegal and that doesn't happen anyway. What we're actually talking about well, now- well, It happens against you and it's not being enforced. Yeah, yeah. But it certainly doesn't happen to, to women going into abortion centres. Yes, yes. Um, and if it did, why, why would they be approaching us? Surely the fact that so many women do change their mind and do continue their pregnancy yeah. is, is a testament to the fact that the people standing there actually aren't offending them to start with. I mean, I can think of countless women who've actually come and given me a hug and thanked me for being there, even though they have continued in to have an abortion. They have yeah, just yeah. appreciated the fact that somebody has taken the time to show they've cared. 